Welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods. Currently, we are discussing on uh, numerical differentiation based on uh, different interpolation formulas. So, in the last lecture, we have discussed uh, this numerical differentiation based on uh, Lagrange interpolating polynomial. In the Lagrange interpolating polynomial, we have discussed uh, this numerical differentiation at tabular points. And in this lecture, we will discuss about this uh, numerical differentiation at the non tabular points, but within that interval only. Within that interval means, if you will have this tabulated points like x 0, f of x 0, x 1, f of x 1, x n, f of x n, then if we want to find the derivative at a particular point, we should lies between like x 0 to x 1 within this interval or x 1 to x 2 within this interval. So, somewhere may be it is just lying and at that point we want to evaluate this differentiation. And uh, for that if you will just consider first example like uh, suppose we will have this uh, data points are x is prescribed at like 0, 2, 4, 5 suppose and its functional values are like uh, 5, 9, 85, 180 suppose. And uh, corresponding Lagrange interpolating polynomial if we want to write, so it can be represented in the form of like p n x equals to summation k equals to 0 to n l k x f of x k. Where L k x can be represented as omega x divided by x minus x k omega dash of x k here. So, basically for this problem if you will just write here omega x. So, omega x can be written as x minus x 0, x minus x 1, x minus x 2, x minus x 3 here. Since, we will have here 4 points, it can construct a polynomial of uh, degree 3 here. So, we can just write p 3 of x that is your L 0 x f of x 0 plus L 1 x f of x 1 plus L 2 x f of x 2 plus L 3 x f of x 3 here, where this omega x if you will just consider this particular problem here, this can be written as x minus 0, x minus 2, x minus 4 into x minus 5 here. And uh, if you will just write here L 0 x and L 0 x can be written in the form of like x minus x 1, x minus x 2, x minus x 3 divided by x 0 minus x 1, x 0 minus x 2, x 0 minus x 3 here. And at particularly this uh, tabular points, we can just uh, write this one as x minus x 1 is uh, here. Since especially we are just defining this is as x 0, this one is x 1, this is as x 2, this is as x 3 here. So, if you will just write all these points here that is as x minus 2, x minus 4, x minus 5 divided by your x 0 is 0 here. So, 0 minus 2, 0 minus 4, 0 minus 5 here. Similarly, we can just write L 1 x also. So, if you will just write L 1 x here, this can be written as L 1 x as x minus x 0, x minus x 2, x minus x 3 divided by x 1 minus x 0, x 1 minus x 2, x 1 minus x 3. So, directly if you will put all these values x minus 0 x minus 4, x minus 5 divided by 
x1 is given as 2 here, 2 minus 0, 2 minus 4, 2 minus 5 here. Similarly, L2x can be written as x minus x0 that is as a 0 here, x minus x1, x minus x3 divided by 4 minus 0, 4 minus 2, 4 minus 5 here. Similarly, if you just write L3 also here, so L3x can be written as x minus 0, x minus 2, x minus 4 divided by 5 minus 0, 5 minus 2, 5 minus 4 here. And uh, particularly if you have determined this uh, L1 x, L2 x, L3 x and uh, L0 x on this tabular values. So, then we can just uh, obtain the first order derivatives of this Lagrangian coefficients as L0 dash x can be written as. So, first product if you just consider here <coughs> that is in the form of like x minus 4, x minus 5 divided by all of these product terms that is minus 2 into minus 4 into minus 5 here. So, directly we can just write that one and uh, minus 2 minus 4 into minus 5 plus second term if you just differentiate here x minus 2 into x minus 5 divided by minus 2 into minus 4 into minus 5 here. Similarly, the last term if you just differentiate here x minus 2 x minus 4 divided by minus 2 into minus 4 into minus 5 here. And similarly, if you just differentiate uh, L1 dash of x here, L1 dash of x can be written as like first term if you just differentiate here. So, x minus 4, x minus 5 divided by 2 into minus 2 into minus 3 here plus again x into x minus 5 divided by 2 into minus 2 into minus 3 plus last term if you will just differentiate here x into x minus 4 divided by 2 into minus 2 into minus 3 here. Similarly, L2 x if you will just uh, write it down. So, L2 dash of x can be written as your first term if you will just differentiate then x minus 2 into x minus 5 divided by 4 into 2 into minus 1 here plus second term if you will just differentiate x into x minus 5 divided by 4 into 2 into minus 1. Last term if you will just differentiate x into x minus 2 divided by 4 into 2 into minus 1 here. And similarly, we can just obtain this derivative for uh, L3 dash of, uh, of x also here. So, if you will just write L3 dash of x here, so L3 dash of x it can be written as x minus 2 into x minus 4 divided by 5 into 3 into 1 plus second differentiation if you will just take x into x minus 4 divided by 5 into 3 plus last differentiation x into x minus 2 divided by 5 into 3 into 1 here. So, if you will just uh, consider here x as a 3 then we can obtain L0 dash of uh, 3 here. Then if you just consider L1 dash of 3 here, then we can just obtain the value of L1 dash of 3 here. L2 dash of 3, we can just put x as 3 here and we can obtain the value. And L3 dash of 3, we can just obtain the values by putting x as 3 there. So, if you just put all these values, then we can just obtain that L0 dash of 3 as 1 by 40, L1 dash of 3 as minus 7 by 12, L2 dash of 3 as 5 by 8 and L3 dash of 3 as minus 1 by 15 here. 
and uh, once these values are known to us like uh, if you just write here this value is just uh, giving you like uh, that especially we are just writing here y dash of uh, 3 since it is asked you to find here. So, we can just write this one as L 0 dash of 3 into f of x 0 plus L 1 dash of 3 f of x 1. L2 dash of 3 into f of x2 plus L3 dash of 3 f of x3 here. So, if you will just uh, evaluate or put all these values here, then first value if you will just uh, write. So, L0 dash of 3 it is just found it as 1 by 40 here. and uh, L 1 dash of 3 it is just found as minus 7 by 12 here. L 2 dash of 3 it is just found to be 5 by 8 here and uh, L 3 dash of 3 it is just found to be like minus 1 by 15 here and directly all of these functional values that is given as f of x 0 as 5 here. So, if you will just put all of these values, we can just write this one as 1 by 40 into f of x 0 here 5 plus minus 7 by 12 into 9 plus 5 by 8 into 85 minus 1 by 15 into 180 here. And if you just do this uh, computation, especially you can just uh, get the value as 36 here. So, then we will just go for this uh, differentiation using Newton's uh, divided difference formula. And in Newton's divided difference uh, interpolation formula already we have known that the advantage for this Newton's uh, divided difference formula is that in case of uh, Lagrange interpolation formula, if a small quantified quantity it should be associated with this interpolation formula, then always we will just go for a large multiplication of these factors. But in divided differences that we can just overrule that factors. So, especially if a term is a asked you to associate in that terms directly we can just write a multiplication and we can just evaluate that one. So, here in a like Newton's uh, divided difference interpolation polynomial, we will have like the set of tabular points that is S, xi and f of xi defined at n plus 1 points like x0, x1 up to xn points. So, if you just write this in Newton's divided difference interpolating polynomial that can be represented as as p n x equals to f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 f of x 0 x 1 plus x minus x 0 x minus x 1 f of uh, x 0 x 1 x 2 up to x minus x 0 x minus x 1 up to x minus x n minus 1 f of uh, x 0 to x n here. So, if in a complete form we want to write or in a product form if you, you want to express or in a sum form if we want to express then p n x can be written as summation of i equals to 0 to n f of uh, x 0 x 1 to x i product of j equals to 0 to i minus 1 x minus x j here. So, if we want to find the derivative for this polynomial here, this polynomial derivative can be written as p n dash x here, this equals to summation i equals to 
0 to n. Since all these values are constants here like f of x0, x1 to xi, then we can just uh, write this derivative as here d by dx of product of j equals to 0 to i minus 1 x minus xj. And all of this uh, tabular values it is known to us and the fu associated functional values are also known to us. Then we can just uh, use this functional values to calculate this uh, derivatives with respect to x here. First for this we will just consider a linear interpolation here. In case of a linear interpolation we have to consider only two points where these tabular points may be x0 f of x0, x1 f of x1. And if you will just consider this linear interpolating polynomial using Newton's divided difference interpolation here, then we can just write this polynomial as p 1 x this equals to f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 f of x 0 x 1 here. Since we are approximating the function f of x with polynomial of degree 1 here. So, always uh, we can just remember that if we will have a polynomial of degree n, always we should have to consider n plus 1 terms there. So, if we are just approximating this function f of x with a polynomial of uh, degree 1 here, then we have to consider two points that is in the form of like y z, x 0, f of x 0, x 1, f of x 1 here. And if you just consider these two points, then the polynomial approximation can be written as p 1 x as f of x 0 plus x minus x 0, f of x 0, x 1 here. And if you will just uh, try to evaluate this first order derivative for this polynomial here. So, p 1 dash of x can be written as since first term if you will just see that this argument contains only a constant point here. Hence, we can just write p 1 dash of x as f of x 0 x 1 here. And if you will just consider like a quadratic interpolation suppose. So, then we will have like uh, uh, three points we have to consider for quadratic interpolation since it represents a polynomial of a degree 2. So, three terms at best it is required. So, if you just consider this quadratic polynomial here, the quadratic polynomial associates the points like uh, x 0, f of x 0, x 1, f of x 1, x 2, f of x 2 suppose. Since three points are required, so that is why we have just considered here three points as x 0, x 1 and x 2 here. And if you will just approximate this one with a polynomial of a degree 2 here, this polynomial can be written as p 2 x as f of x 0 plus x minus x 0 f of x 0 x 1 plus x minus x 0 x minus x 1 f of x 0 x 1 x 2 here. If we want to find this first order derivative for this function p 2 of x here, so this can be written as p 2 dash x as first term this can just give you 0 value and second term if you just consider here that can be represented as f of x 0 x 1 here and uh, immediate next term if you just consider that can be written as 2 x minus x 0 minus x 1 into f of x 0, x 1, x 2 here. So, based on this uh, if you will just uh, go for a example here, then we can just uh, write this uh, tabular values as like uh, compute suppose y dash 3, y double dash 3 from the tabular data like 1, 2, 4, 8, 10 suppose the functional data is given and uh, sorry this tabular data is given and the functional data are given like 0, 1, 5, 21, 27 suppose. If you will just write this tabular data that is in the form of like 1, 2, 4, 
8, 10 suppose and uh, the functional values are like 0, 1, 5, 21, 27 and it is asked to compute y dash of 3 and y double dash of 3 from the following table. Compute y dash of 3 and y double dash of 3 from this table. So, first we will just use this divided difference table formula to get all this uh, uh, difference uh, data there. So, like first difference if you will just find here, this can be represented as 1 minus 0 by 2 minus 1 since it is the formula especially. So, the first order difference we can just write here 1 minus 0 by 2 minus 1. Second one if you will just consider 5 minus 1 divided by 4 minus 2 here. Third one if you will just consider 21 minus 5 divided by 8 minus 4 and uh, last two points if you will just consider 27 minus 21 divided by 10 minus 8 here. Obviously, we can just obtain the data as 1, 2, 4, 3 here. And in the second difference or second divided difference, we can just uh, write this data as 2 minus 1 divided by 4 minus 1, then we will have like uh, 4 minus 2 divided by like 8 minus 2 here. Then uh, last value if you will just consider here 3 minus 4 divided by 10 minus 4 here, 10 minus 4. So, obviously you can just obtain these values as 1 by 3, 1 by 3. and last value this will be minus uh, 1 by uh, 6 here. And uh, next uh, third difference table, you can just obtain this values as uh, 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 divided by some of this data like 8 minus 1 and then 1 by 3 sorry minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 3. 10 minus 2 here. So, this can uh, first value you can just get it as 0 here and uh, second value you can just get it as minus 1 by 16 here and fourth divided difference you can just find minus 1 by 16 minus 0 divided by 10 minus 1 here and uh, you can just uh, obtain this one as minus 1 by 144. And if you will just uh, uh, use this uh, Newton's uh, divided difference interpolation formula for uh, this calculation of these values here. So, we can just use this values that as 0, 1, 1 by 3, 0, minus 1 by 144 as the tabular values here. So, maybe in the uh, next lecture we can just uh, continue that uh, how we can just uh, use this uh, Newton's uh, uh, divided difference uh, formula for uh, finding this derivative. Since I have just uh, given you a recount of this Newton's uh, divided difference that directly we can just use these formulas for the uh, derivation of the data and uh, I can just consider the same example in the next lecture and I can explain that uh, how we can just put this data in the tabular form and we can obtain the first order derivative or second order derivative in a complete form. Thank you for the listening the lecture.